As we navigate trust and finances on the digital world, a horrible incident recently came to light. Hundreds of people, mostly women, were robbed around Rs 420 million, allegedly by a Karachi-based social media influencer and businesswoman who ran a monthly ballot committee system. The age-old method of interest-free savings and pooling money commonly known committees is used by almost 50% of people in Pakistan. In most situations, trust and someone's word would be considered a flimsy basis for a monetary exchange, but committees have been running for decades primarily on goodwill and are one of the most popular informal financing methods in Pakistan, especially for those who cannot easily access the formal financing services such as banking. A pattern here that's hard to miss is that women are more keen towards saving through committees than men. And that's the topic we'll be here discussing today. A study titled Bringing Finance to Pakistan's Poor suggests that gender plays a huge factor in decision to turn to committees. It says, given the bank's criteria for lending credit only to those who are either salaried or have business incomes, many women, including those who may have a secure source of rent income, are precluded from the bank's financing, including credit cards. The study also points out that being less experienced banking clients than men, many women settle for committees that involve no paperwork and from which they can receive timely payouts for their needs. While many turn to committees to meet their needs, committees are not only for those trying to make ends meet. The upper class turn to committees not only for financial support, but derive fun. Auntie committees, as they are sometimes called, have a certain reputation. In 2015, a woman from Rawalpindi allegedly designed a banking system. She approached high-class women to set up a committee group worth 4 million rupees. According to media reports, the 18th-month committee was spread amongst 100 women who contributed around 30,000 rupees each. These committees are then used as a source of intermingling through get-togethers, dinners, lunches, even movie plans. In recent years, social media has made it easier for people to find committees. Digital has certainly opened avenues for women to gain financial knowledge and independence. One such digital app called Oran has digitized committee system. We asked them how digital committees work and why they are popular amongst women. I'm sure you've heard the news that's going around about this recent committee scam. Some people are estimating it at around 42 crore rupees. And there's been a lot of criticism and blame game going around. People are saying that the women or the people who participated in this uh, committee are to blame for it. What are your views on that? Firstly, I, I believe that uh, it is a very, very unfortunate incident that has happened. However, I do not think it is right to blame the, the participants of this committee or committees in general. Committees is a, fi a financial concept, a financial means that's been happening for generations. Also very important to note that in Pakistan, the rate of financial inclusion is very, very low. We are really behind. And then people over here, they do not have any other option if they require credit. If they need uh, easy access to money, for example, they want to pay for their kill, uh, uh, children's education, they want to uh, fund weddings, they want to uh, go for Umrah or Hajj. Committees is a very, very common means for making that happen because people resort to their community, people resort to the people that they know and that's why they take part in committees because committees is not just saving, it's not just that people are saving, uh, people are going to get the end uh, part of the committee. The ones that take part in the earlier or they get the earlier slots, they're actually taking some uh, credit from that committee. Although committees offer a social alternative to savings and loan to women, there are some drawbacks. Since it's an informal transaction, there is no paper trail, which leaves women vulnerable. We are now joined by economist Amar Khan to shed some light on the drawbacks of investing in a committee. Committees are a bad idea because they have very high credit risk. What we mean by that is that in a committee, some people come together and pour in money. But whatever one of uh, the participants of the committee just simply runs away or is not able to give the money. So this is a very high credit risk and everyone else has to cover for the other person's inability to pay money. And this happens more frequently than we know about. 
Similarly, there are people who run this thing professionally. Now, if a committee does not make any money because there's no profit involved, how will they compensate themselves for their time? They do that by getting the, like, the first or the second slot. And this is how they start taking out money, start skimming money. And through this, they are able to build up their own will on the basis of other people's will. So this is also very high credit and concentration risk. Credit risk here because they keep on opening more committees till the time they hit a point where no one wants to trust them or more people come in and start withdrawing their funds. When they come and start withdrawing their funds, this means that they do not have sufficient funds to repay and hence a whole cycle of, I would say, default starts coming into action. Lastly, we also ask our guests how women can invest and safeguard themselves against financial scams. One has to be very aware of their financial rights. Whenever you take part in any financial transaction, be it a committee, be it uh, buying something uh, and paying some amount for it, you should always have a financial trail for it. So for example, you should always have some sort of receipt uh, and uh, accountability of where your money is going. Well, you have to be careful. Do you trust the other person with your money? If you even do, try doing more due diligence, try doing more research, stick with formal financial institutions for investments rather than randomly trusting individuals and groups we don't really know about. This is Sarah Omar signing off for Don News English.